Hey guys, it's Hike360 here, and I'm at Grand Tetons National Park. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, the, the way in was spectacular. It's like a really well set up and established national park, so there's everything you could ever need. Gas, restaurants, visitor centers, um, everything is just real clear, so it's, that's cool. But anyways, I'm at the trailhead for Jenny Lake right now. Uh, Jenny Lake is apparently one of the best lakes that you can find at the Grand Tetons National Park. So I'm here to do a 7.1 mile hike around around the lake. And there's two points of interest along the way. One of them being Hidden Falls, which I'm on my way to now. And the other being Inspiration Point. So we'll check both of those out. I'll give you videos of those two points. Um, other than that, beautiful day, sunny. It's just... All of my hikes on my nomadic travels have been incredibly beautiful and clear and I'm so grateful for that. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm really excited to be here and uh, I'm at the trailhead. So catch you guys in the next video. Peace. It did not take very long to see something epic. Got a moose chilling out in the pond in front of me. And uh, <laughs> that's a happy moose. Look at his ears all back. Sticking his whole head in there. I wonder if he's fishing or if he's drinking water. But, uh, this is awesome. This is such a, I mean, look around. This is such a cool spot. So far on my travels, like, like Seattle area and Washington, I definitely have to go back to and do Mount Rainier, do the Olympic mountain ranges and, uh, um, Ho Rainforest. But this is, up there too like Tetons Tetons National Park I mean there's I want to camp here I want to do more trails so yeah this is awesome all right so far we've seen a moose what else are we gonna see a little bit of waterfall action I don't know if this is hidden falls or not I'm gonna guess that it is hidden falls but I could be wrong All right, right in front of us is Hidden Falls. It's much bigger than that other falls that I was bringing you a video of uh, just before this. But yeah, this is really cool. Everyone's kind of posted up here. I've been having some fun conversations uh, with a variety of different people. I actually met some people that went to the same high school as I did. And uh, so that was kind of fun. And then I talked to some music festival goers. So that was kind of fun too. Uh, but now I am going to Inspiration Point, and I will give you a video of that. I think I'm only halfway up to Inspiration Point. Nonetheless, Jenny Lake is looking good. It's awesome. This is such a beautiful national park. I'm a little bit closer to the top, inspiration point, I'm coming for ya. Uh, let's see how my dad does with the editing of all these short clips. I think it's gonna look really cool. Jenny Lake, just a beautiful back, row, back, back drop. All right, take your goggles, spin around. Okay, we are at inspiration point. It's a very magical little spot. And I'm just delirious with happiness and overflowing with gratitude. And I mean, how can you not be? Look at this. Jenny Lake. Shout out to Ivan. This is your favorite spot. Man. If I keep going uh, behind me, that's Cascade Canyon. But I'm going to head back down and finish my hike around the lake. Got three and a half miles ahead of me, I'm like halfway. Hey, so what's happening? I passed the boat shuttle and I'm continuing to hike around Jenny Lake because that's what I set out to do. The 7.1 mile hike around Jenny Lake, I think, isn't actually around Jenny Lake. It's including the, bo the boat shuttle. 
because I'm at six and a quarter miles and uh, there's still a lot of distance for me to cover. Um, ahead of me is Stinger Lake and there should be a crossing there to get me on the other side of Jenny Lake and then I'll come back to the parking lot. So that's my mission. I'm on the other side of Jenny Lake. There is a crow in front of me that's the size of a chicken. What are they feeding you? Gobble, gobble, what the hell? Um, anyways, awesome view of the mountain range right here. And yeah, this has been one of my favorite hikes ever. I feel like I say that often. I feel like I'm on a whole ass odyssey right now. I've just seen so much. I've seen moose, I've seen, I've climbed mountain. You know, I've, oh, I just ate huckleberry. I passed someone collecting huckleberry and I was talking to her. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm collecting huckleberry. Do you want to try one? I'm like, yes. So I learned about huckleberry and like, Five minutes later, after saying goodbye to her, I found my own little bushel and uh, collected myself a handful. They're so good, they're so good. Okay, I'm wrapping up my hike. I put in 10 miles and a quarter in just under four hours. It was a great hike. Going to Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point Gave me a thousand feet of elevation along the way. It's cool, uh, shaded, there's lots of trees. The smells are insane, I loved it. Great time. I had a great time here. Grand Tetons National Park is spectacular and Jenny Lake is spectacular. I would love to come back here and camp and go on the water. I didn't get to do that this time, but uh, yeah, everyone's here. everyone's happy here. Everyone's having a good old time. So, do yourself a favor. Go to Jenny Lake, at the Grand Tetons National Park. Tell me about it. I am off to Colorado now. I have to hop in my car and I've got about eight or 10 hours to drive to Kenosha Pass where I'm meeting my dad. Shout out Swiss Cheese Trails. I will be meeting him there to do a six, seven day through hike on the Colorado Trail. And we're gonna attempt Mount Massive and Mount Elbert, I think, the two largest peaks in Colorado. So definitely more videos coming soon. All right, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe, see ya.